It's happening. The signs of the last days prophecies are happening just as Bible prophecy foretold. And it's revealing. We are nearing the end of this age and the appearance of our dear Lord and Savior Jesus Christ for his church. This signs of the last days ministry is here watching with you and praying with you as we declare the biblical signs of the true prophetic path from now to the appearance of Christ Jesus the Lord. So people can get ready now for when Lord Jesus appears for his church. Thank you for being a part of the signs of the last days church community, praying and giving to support this ministry. There's prophetic last days news where officials are saying that if you choose to stay, you are going to die. As Hurricane Milton is being described as a killer storm that is on track to be the worst storm to impact the Tampa Bay area of West Florida in more than 100 years. And these increasing and intensifying storms setting record after record are a major sign of the last days prophecies in the Holy Bible that are coming to pass upon the earth as the earth has entered into a historic prophetic time. According to the National Weather Service and meteorologists, they are saying that if the expected scenario for Hurricane Milton is realized, they say that it will truly be historic where they say that nobody is alive today who has any sort of frame of reference in this area for what will happen and what this catastrophe can actually be like. As they say, Hurricane Milton is currently on track to be the worst storm to impact the Tampa Bay, Florida area in more than 100 years. And according to experts, this Tampa and St. Petersburg metro area is the most vulnerable to flooding damage in all the U.S. because of a shallow continental shelf off the coastline and a funnel effect into the Tampa Bay that together create the potential for a huge buildup of water into a massive storm surge that can destroy entire neighborhoods. As of last reports, Hurricane Milton has been oscillating between a, <clears throat> a very strong Cat 4 and a Cat 5 strength hurricane. Just as of last night, it had strengthened again back into a Category 5 storm, where at that time it had 165 mile per hour winds. The storm is forecast that when the hurricane reaches the Floridian West Coast, it is expected to slam a 15-foot storm surge over the coastline, which that means that the surge of water and then the wind-driven waves on top of that surge, that they can cover up both the first and second stories of buildings with such force that the buildings can literally be washed away and disappear. And since the Tampa Bay area hasn't been hit directly by a hurricane in more than a century. Some neighborhoods are filled with homes that are built before the state building code was, st was strengthened with hurricanes in mind. And additionally, this Tampa Bay metro area has experienced a building boom in recent decades that has sent the population soaring by several million with much of the development done on low lying ground with poor drainage systems. It's estimated that one third of the area's residents are living down within the storm surge zones. The experts are saying that it's a perfect storm for a storm surge disaster. And Tampa Bay is still reeling from Hurricane Helene that hit Northern Florida just about two weeks ago. But it still triggered a seven foot storm surge along the coastline at Tampa with water climbing halfway up the front doors of some homes in low lying neighborhoods. And now Hurricane Milton is forecast to bring them a storage storm that storage storm surge that is double that of Helene. Meteorologists have also said that people should be preparing for it to be a catastrophic killer storm. 
and urged residents to leave while they could, with him emphasizing that this is a very serious situation and that residents should closely follow evacuation orders from their local emergency management officials, with him saying that Milton has the potential to be one of the most destructive hurricanes ever on record for West Central Florida. And then as millions of people in mandatory evacuations have been fleeing northward in Florida to, Florida to escape, there have been scenes on the highways in Florida of mass traffic jams that went on and on for miles and miles with reports of thousands of gas stations running out of fuel. <clears throat> This hurricane has amazingly had its central pressure readings to fall below 900 millibars, so low that it was in the 890 something millibar range. And I think there were some readings even below that, which the lower the millibar readings of central pressure, that means the greater the intensification of the storm to where the intensification of this storm is rivaling nearly every storm to come before it. This is making it one of the strongest storms ever recorded in the Atlantic Basin. And its wind speeds have grown by close to 100 miles per hour, which that happened in just 24 hours, which that is behind only Felix in 2007 and Wilma in 2005, according to Hurricane Center's records. Meteorologists are saying that they are expecting the size of the storm that it could double before it makes landfall in Florida. And the meteorologists have also said that they could not stress enough that people have been told to leave and that they really need to leave. Florida officials have said that Hurricane Milton will make areas of Florida uninhabitable for weeks and months. And the mayor of Tampa Bay told the people that if you choose to stay, you are going to die. As the officials described this storm as unsurvivable, emphasizing that this is a killer storm that is approaching and the meteorologists say that it can be historic like nothing ever seen before in this area. Unfortunately, Florida was still in recovery from Hurricane Helene that hit only about two weeks ago that caused more than 200 deaths and catastrophic damage stretching through Florida and into the states of the southeastern U.S. And now there are fears in Florida that the mounds of debris that are still left from Helene's wake could now be turned into dangerous projectiles that are caught up and driven by Milton's water or winds. We have many members of the church of this Signs of the Last Days ministry in the central Florida area and throughout Florida and in the southeastern U.S. that have been suffering from Helene and now threatened by Milton. And we are praying for all of you in the name of our Lord Jesus and we'll be sending offerings to your official authorities there to help you. One of the major signs Lord Jesus prophesied in Luke chapter 21 of the Holy Bible as indicating the last days of prophecy are upon us. One was the intensification of storms upon the earth where the Lord described that the sea and the waves would become to be roaring. And it has come to pass just as he said, as the earth has entered a historic prophetic time where we see storms like never before roar across the face of the earth as we are experiencing record hurricane activity with storm after storm setting record after record for their strength and devastation that they are bringing upon the areas that they hit. The biblical prophecies as Luke chapter 21 Revelation chapter 8 and Revelation chapter 16 foretell that there will be extreme weather with the intensifications of storms in the last days, signaling that the world is nearing the end of this age and the coming of Lord Jesus Christ. And it's happening. 
just as the Holy Bible foretold. As these events and conditions happening now are warning signs, pointing to the nearing fulfillment of the last day's prophecies at the end of this age, revealing that it's time to prepare now for the nearing appearance of Jesus Christ for his church by being born again of the water and the spirit into the kingdom of God. As Lord Jesus said that we must in John chapter three, verses three through five, and as his apostles that Lord Jesus authorized and sanctioned in Matthew chapter 16, verse 18 and through 19, they described how in the acts of the apostles preaching in Acts chapters 2, chapters 8, 10, and 19. And if you need help finding someone in your area where you're located to biblically pray for you and baptize you, according to the acts of the preaching of the Lord Jesus and his chosen apostles, actually in their Holy Bible scriptures, you can contact us here at Signs of the Last Days Ministry to help you find someone. Our contact information is down at the very bottom of our website. Signsofthelastdays.org is our website. And down at the very bottom of the page in the footer in small print, you'll find there our email address. Just email us with the name of your town, your state, and make sure you give your zip code with your request and we'll be glad to respond. The prophecies are coming true. The perilous times of the last days are here. And if you believe in prophetic ministry, sharing the signs of prophecy pointing to the coming of Lord Jesus, join with us as a partner in prophecy, giving whatever amount you're led to give by the Lord. So to help this prophetic ministry, share the signs of the nearness of his coming. A link to the giving page where you can securely give is in the description below. Thank you for joining together with us now in this mission of Christ Jesus by being a part of the prophetic declaration of the great promise of his coming. Please be watching on this channel for our next video and also for our next watch and pray live stream broadcast as our watch and pray live stream on Sunday evenings where we always have a prophetic word from the Lord then to share with our last day's church of more signs of the last day's prophecies that are happening now. Please make sure you're subscribed to and following this channel. Please click the bell to get all notifications for our live streams and videos. Also subscribe to our newsletter on our website, signsofthelastdays.org. Be a part of this last day's church community. As together we declare the biblical signs of the true prophetic path from now to when Lord Jesus appears for his church. As we share the prophetic signs pointing toward the end time prophecies happening now in the world. As the time is growing short. Signs of